Hello, my name is William Michetto, a system security engineer with Tripwire, here to demonstrate for you Tripwire's integrity monitoring and security configuration management solution, Tripwire Enterprise. What we are looking at here is a high-level architectural view of Tripwire Enterprise. We do use a server client-based model, meaning there's some server software we would stand up within your environment and some file system agents that we deploy out on all your file system endpoints. So for example, Windows, Red Hat Linux, Solaris, AIX, and these types of devices. These agents would check into the Tripwire Enterprise Server, and within the Tripwire Enterprise Server itself, we've got these things called rules. Think of the rules like questions, and with these rules, we ask questions of the agent. Things like, what does this file look like? What does the output of that command give us? The agent will go out, execute that command, copy the screen output, or snapshot the attributes off the file and answers back to the Tripwire Enterprise Server and establishes what we call a baseline. A baseline is a known good state or configuration for that file or that system that we are monitoring. And any deviation from this baseline state will then be recorded as a change in the system. Now it is very important how we do this in that after a baseline is established and then a change is detected, the only thing that actually gets sent across the network is just this change delta information. And it's important the way we do this because it helps us accomplish a couple of things. First of all, you don't have to have a full-time database administrator just to manage your Tripwire Enterprise database. We do a really good job of managing and maintaining the amount of data that needs to be stored within that database. Also, because it is just that change delta information going across your network, network utilization is extremely low. Again, we're not sending an entire snapshot of your environment every time we run a scan or a check. This also allows us to go back at any point in time and say, you know, when I initially baseline this file, it was in a known good state. I want to see the difference between then and now, and we can go in there and do those types of comparisons between different points in time. Now, before we jump into the Tripwire Enterprise Console, I would like to point out that we do monitor more than just file systems. Everybody knows Tripwire from our old file integrity monitoring days where we primarily focused on the endpoint and the operating system. But since then, we have evolved the solution to encompass just about every single application or device within your infrastructure. So file systems aside, we can monitor things like network devices. Think router switches and firewalls. If we can telnet or SSH into a device, execute a command, we can monitor it for integrity. Think of things like a Cisco router, for example. We would log into the router, execute show run to copy the running configuration, monitor the screen output, and identify any changes. For databases, we can establish a JDBC or an ODBC connection to the backend database and look at things like the database schema, configuration parameters, user accounts, and that kind of stuff. For directory services such as LDAP or Active Directory, we can log into your domain controller environment and monitor things like user and group organizational units and group policy objects. Just like file system servers, we can monitor desktops as well. Simply deploy an agent onto your desktop operating system, it will check into the server and begin monitoring relevant file system objects. For example, maybe there's a point of sale server application running on that desktop. We might want to monitor the configuration files of that particular application. Very easily, we could deploy the agent to monitor those application components. And hypervisors as well. Everything's virtualized nowadays. Using VMware as an example, we can interface in with the VMware API, inventory all the hypervisors within the environment, monitor the configuration of the hypervisors, and for the virtual machines themselves, it's the same thing as any file system agent. It's all transparent at that point. Simply throw an agent on there, it will check into the server, we tell it what to monitor. Now let's jump into Tripwire Enterprise and see the tool in action. What we are looking at here is a dashboard view of Tripwire Enterprise. We do use a web-based interface. You can see I'm logged in here through Firefox. Along the top here, we have all these different tabs. Think of these tabs like lenses for your environment, and each lens can show us a different view into our environment. So for example, we may have a tab set up for just our network infrastructure. So our network admins can go in there and view change information specific to those network assets. Whereas we might have another tab set up for our file system infrastructure. So all of our server admins can go in there and view change information relevant to their file system assets or maybe you're going through an audit, you can configure a dashboard to display information relevant to your auditor's function or role within your organization. The whole point here is that if separation of duties is important, we can do that very easily. It's not a problem. Along the top are just a couple of different ways we can monitor for change within the environment. A few examples we have here are changes by platform or changes by asset. Another popular one is changes by location or owner of those particular assets. 
So we can chop information up in several different ways depending on the audience generating or receiving these reports. This authorized versus unauthorized report is a really good example of a change management ticketing system integration. So for example, if you happen to have a change management ticketing system such as Remedy or ServiceNow in your environment, Tripwire Enterprise can integrate in with those IT service management solutions and effectively build out logic into the system that says, of all the changes that are happening in our environment, which of those changes are approved in our change management ticketing system? Any changes that are unapproved will be left as an unauthorized, unpromoted red change in this display. Tripwire Enterprise also offers top-down reporting capability, so we can go from this very high-level executive view down into some very granular detailed information around the changes in our environment. Let's take a look at this authorized versus unauthorized example. Now in this example here, we can see a blown up view of that little widget we were just looking at. We've got all our changes over the past week broken up between authorized and unauthorized categories. Now it looks like over the past number of days, we've had a slight uptick in the number of unauthorized changes within our environment. We did a little investigation and it turns out there's a new user we just onboarded into the company who has not been following the proper change process. So we take them aside, we deliver some education, and hopefully these numbers should start to trickle back down. From a management perspective, everybody is happy because we know what's going on in the environment and we've got our arms wrapped around everything. From an administrative view, we can drill down into these unauthorized changes and get a breakdown of everything that's actually been happening within our environment. Here we can see a breakdown of all the changes within our environment across all of our different assets that we are monitoring. Now do know all the different applications and devices we are monitoring here. This is just a small sample of what we can actually touch and monitor within your environment. The point here is that we can take all this information from your entire infrastructure and throw it in a very easy to read report such as the one you see here. So very quickly we can come in here and see on this Windows server we have a change at this date and time to this file. What kind of change was that? Was it an addition, a modification, a removal, and then the important stuff? Who is actually responsible for this change in our environment? You may have raised an eye when you saw this particular file, this how do you get a huge raise.pdf.exe sitting on one of our critical Windows servers. Now aside from the suspicious naming convention of this particular file, the story here may be this Luke user probably didn't have the best one-on-one -on -one with his boss recently. So now he's out Googling looking for ways to improve performance and make more money next year. And inadvertently, through a remote desktop session, he's introduced a malicious executable to one of our critical servers. Now what's also interesting, aside from the fact that we can see this is an unauthorized addition to one of our critical Windows servers, is that shortly after this file was added, there was a change to the local firewall rules and the listening ports on this system. And if we look at the details around this change, we can come in here and see this new file that was added is now allowed to communicate to or from any IP address over port 1337. And as expected, if we take a look at the listening ports on this system, we can see that this system is indeed listening on 1337, essentially opening up a huge backdoor for further pivoting and attack throughout our network. This is something that we would want to be aware of very quickly and be able to reconcile as soon as possible. Now that we have an understanding of Tripwire's file integrity monitoring capability, let's take a look at the security configuration management side of Tripwire Enterprise. I took you through the file integrity monitoring portion first because at the same time we're running our file integrity checks, we're also testing the system for its security configuration compliance. So we're very efficient in how we actually monitor a device. Along the bottom half of the screen here, we can see our security configuration management reports. In this example, we are monitoring for NIST's special publication 853 for high security. We have our trending analysis over time, where red would be showing us our lowest scoring system, green would show us our highest, and blue would show us the average in between. This is important because it allows us to come back to our auditors and say, Hi Mr. Auditor, here you can see 364 out of 365 days last year we were compliant. We had a small dip at this point in time, quickly identified the configuration drift, brought ourselves back into compliance, and we have been compliant since. Do you have any questions Mr. Auditor? And then we have our overall security posture, broken up between my Windows and my Linux environments. 
And just as we did with the reports along the top half of the screen, we can drill down into these reports and get some very granular information around these failures. Here we can see a blown up view of that widget we were just looking at. In this example, we can see that this is for our 2008 R2 domain members for NIST's High Security Control Catalog. Underneath that, we have all the different subsections relevant to the NIST standard. Underneath each subsection, we then have each node being tested for this standard. We have our pass tests, failed tests, and percent of compliancy with each subsection. And as soon as we decide we want to remediate some of these failures, we can easily drill down another layer deep and get a breakdown of the failed details. Here we can see this is for NIST's identification and authentication subsection, specifically identification and authentication 2.1 built-in administrator account renamed. Just below that, we'll have some details around the test. Essentially, this test is just making sure that the administrator account is renamed to something other than administrator to help reduce the known attack surface. We'll give you the actual result that we extracted from that system when we ran the test. Here we can see the administrator account is still named administrator, resulting in a failure. Now, how do we bring the system back into compliance? For every test that we provide, we give you step-by-step -step remediation guidance. Do these one, two, three, four, five things, and the system will become compliant back up to, in this case, NIST standards. However, it could be for PCI or HIPAA or any of the other 750 pardoning policies that we have available out of the box for no added cost. And because these reports are typically geared towards your endpoint system administrators, we do provide further vendor supplied information in case further research is needed. What's even nicer is we can take all this data, script it out, and have the Tripwire Enterprise agent automatically bring the systems back into compliance. I hope you enjoyed the demo today of Tripwire Enterprise and now have a better understanding of how it can help improve security and compliance within your organization.